Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Levi Niha and today I'm going to be playing around with a very old version of FL Studio. The version that I'm going to be using today is FL Studio 2.71, which if we look back on the official FL Studio history, it says that it came out in September of the year 2000. That is really old. I originally wanted to try out the very first version of FL Studio, but that thing is so old that I just can't get it to run. So this one will just have to do. Anyway, let's just go ahead and see what we can come up with. Okay, here we go. Fruity Pro. So this looks pretty much exactly the same as what FL Studio looks like now. Wait, it's only been like 17 years or something. You think that at least changed up a little bit, but it looks pretty similar. So if this is anything like the current FL Studio, it should be pretty easy to work with. Let's try come up with a beat. I don't know if I can make the loop longer. Um, how do I get to the playlist? Uh, view. Oh, that was easy. It looks pretty similar. I think they still had the same layout back in FL Studio 8. Let's see where we can place them. And it should loop it. With the play button. <laughs> it's like an actual switch. <laughs> Ugly. How do I bring up the mixer? Is there a mixer? Light show. What's this? Whoa. It's actually pretty cool. How do I assign effects? Ah, oh, there we go. So I guess I can just place some effects in here. Um, reverb, cool. Everything still looks exactly the same. Like this window here still looks exactly the same. This reverb still looks exactly the same. I guess that you can only have eight tracks for the mixer. I guess I'll be able to work with that. Oops. Ah, okay. So I'll put the reverb onto FX2 because everything's already on FX1 by default, I'm guessing. What are these? <laughs> Master filter, cool. So now I think I might try putting some synthesizers. So it looks like there's only one synthesizer. I don't know if that's just for the demo or if that's just all there was for the time. At least I know how to use this one. Should be all right. Um, how do I... Uh, is, is there no piano roll? Oh no. I don't know if there's a piano roll on this version. I can't seem to find anything. That's gonna suck. I guess I'll just have to <laughs> use this. This isn't gonna be fun. Um, let's add some distortion. That's actually a pretty cool synth. So I think I might change up the drum beat a little bit more just to match it. <laughs> that should do, let's try it out. So I think that's what most of the music made in 2000 on FL Studio 2 would have sounded like. So I'm going to keep with the style. It's also pretty fun to make. So I wonder if you can do automation. Let's check this out. I should be able to edit events. Yes. I wish there's some more effects to work with, but at least they still had fruity bass boost back then. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do some automation on the master track. So I want it to build all the way up. I just remember that you can right click as well and it will do straight lines. I wish I remembered that earlier. That would have been helpful. I actually like this bass more, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And we'll just put this one in. That sounds better. So I can't really think of anything else that I can fit in here. And to be honest, this old version's really confusing me. I wish that there were some more effects and stuff that I could add in. And I wish that automation was a little bit easier. Because I feel like I'm wasting so much time trying to draw in all of the lines. But yeah, anyway, I think I'm pretty much done. Let's check out what I ended up making in the end. And just warning you, it's not really good. It turned out to be a lot harder than I was expecting it to be. Even though it looks pretty much the same as the modern FL Studio, a lot of the stuff just isn't there. And it makes me realize how helpful a lot of the new features are. I feel sorry for anyone who actually had to use these old programs. I mean, maybe if I spent a bit more time with it and actually dug a little bit deeper, it would be a bit easier. But right now it's just a bit too confusing. Maybe having more than one synthesizer would have helped, but oh well. <laughs> Anyway, I think that's everything for today. Let me know if you enjoyed this video in the comments. And if you did, I might try out some even older music making software. That is probably a bad idea. Anyway, that's everything. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.